Welcome back to episode 4 of Attingham Park, the multiplayer, and my let's play. So since we've been gone, we've made some steady progress, we've done quite a lot of work around the farm. We have sheep currently, they are the only animal we've got, but they are doing very well, they're being fed and watered. There they are, look at them. So like I said, we're making very, very good steady progress. We've got a, a nice little bank balance. This is the Robert Scythe bank balance, not the Mr. Dex one. Um, after the last uh, episode, I figured that I would just play on this farm for the time being. Um, and we'll do our work this way. So we're going to get this back down to the main farm. Now, I am currently on my own and there is a lot of grass work that needs doing. There's not really much we can do around that. Uh, we want to, we started the grass. Uh, a very active member of the Robert Heath channel was on yesterday and did the, the majority of the grass work alongside myself. I wasn't set up for recording, so we didn't get to do that, unfortunately. But we did some really good work. We got quite a few fields done. And to try and keep all the fields to be ready on the same same month, that means that we've got the other fields to do, well, today while I'm on, anyone else who joins us, and we'll, we'll see what happens. But currently, like I said, I'm on my own. Right, I am going to get back to the farm. I'm going to get us all set up with all the equipment we need and I will catch you once I'm at the field ready to go. Okay, so we're at the field and I have my other vehicles ready to go, so the baler and the bale trailer. The idea is that we do a field of time, and I will stick to that methodology. It just means that we don't get too far ahead of ourselves, and then if I had to leave for whatever reason, I haven't left other people in the lurch having to pick up what I haven't done, what I've started. Okay, I'm going to time lapse this. Okay, so that's this field cut. We will leave the moors at the next field ready because the aim is to do this next field. Leave them for now. 
and then I will tap to the next vehicle. get this done. It's going to take a bit of time. It's not the quickest of bailers. And it spits out quite a lot. So there'll be a lot to collect. So I think for my part I am going to see you next when we are collecting the bales. So we've now got someone else on the map, they've come along to help bail, so I've got the other bailer, so we should be twice as quick, which is always positive. It's quite a slow process, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. I'm hoping that once the bales are done in this field, the other person, which is Sarah, will collect the bales, and I will start mowing the next field, ready to go with that one. Okay, so that is that field done. Um, so it's just getting the remaining bits of grass into the baler, and then she will collect the bales. I'm going to make a start on this field because it'll give me a bit of a head start, and then hopefully so will come along and follow my lines with the baler and get this one built up as well. The next two fields, which are the pastures, the sheep will be grass which will help feed them, whilst they don't need a huge amount at the minute, they might in the future. And the cow pasture we will turn to hay, and then that will help for when we get cows to start making TMR. So I think that is the plan with the pastures, that they are for the animal feed, and the grass fields are going to be turned to silage. What needs to be needed for the feed we will, and the rest will be for the bees here. Yeah, we made a fair bit of money from the last stack of bales, which has helped pay a big chunk of the outstanding loan that we've got. Whilst we have a, a, a healthy looking balance here now, ideally that could go towards paying a bigger chunk of the loan off, but it's there just in case we need some larger purchases. We are getting quite a few suggestions from people who are actively using the map and the money is there to be used for those suggestions to help us progress the, the months and make the work easier and give us a bit of variety on what we do. I'm hopeful that we will get a few harvestable fields that we own coming up soon. If not, we have got ample contracts that would allow us to um, to do that. But currently, the fields that we own, we are waiting to be in a harvestable state. And like I said, that should, with any luck, be not too far away. Because we don't play with seasons, it doesn't give us a crop calendar, so it's hard to estimate the exact month that they're going to be ready. Right, I will get this done. I think we're just going to now see you once this is all bailed up and put away.
So we're just on the final tasks before we finish up for the episode. Sarah has taken all the excess equipment that we didn't need back to the farm, washed, repaired, refueled it. I am just doing the lime here. I will then be doing the fertilizer and then that's the job's done. I think we've done a good bit of successful work yet again as a team. It's been really good having someone else here to assist with that. I think my plan to make the Let's Play part of the multiplayer has worked out quite well. So I'm hoping to see a lot more of you on here in due course and see how this progresses. I have got a live scheduled and with any luck it should be not long after you see this episode if you watch this when it gets released. Uh, I'm scheduling this for a nine o'clock show and the live is set for 10 o'clock in the morning in UK time. If you're watching this several days after it's been uploaded then the live's already happened and you'll see that under the, under the live section. Right, I'm going to do the fertilising and then wrap it up there. So for those who have been watching, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time either here on the map or next time you're on the channel. Bye for now.